good morning, good afternoon, good evening to you from wherever you're watching from. Welcome back to my channel of Extensivo. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to connect your Canon 5D Mark II camera to your VMIX. To connect your Canon 5D Mark II camera, the digital cam, how to connect it to your VMIX. Without wasting your time, let's go straight into it. Don't forget my name, Joseph Lassokomi, and this is Extensivo. Okay, so I was opportune to go to a church, was it last three weeks or so, to help them set up their camera and uh, VMIX and everything like that. So they got, uh, they had a camera which is this Canon 5D Mark II, and I did a video on it so I can just explain to my viewers out there, you know, I've not really been opportune to have a camera. So once I got the opportunity, I had to video it so I can also post it on my YouTube channel and my Facebook page. Yeah, that's right. I've created a new Facebook page, so you can follow me on my Facebook page also, the name is Extensive or so you can follow me on there also, I want to post on my channels there, my videos rather, I'm going to be posting it there, and sooner or later, whatever video I do, I'll be posting it there instead of YouTube, and at times I'll post it on YouTube instead of Facebook, I'll just going to switch it up and down, yeah, I hope you understand. Okay, so um, I'm going to be showing the video which will be up in a moment, and I'm just going to be commenting on it, what I'm doing, you know, just like as the video. Why the audio is just going on and on and on okay all right so this is the camera we used the canon 5d mark to eos canon 5d mark to it's really sleek that reason is for quite a while so that's why you can see that yes it shows that the reason for a while with the lens of 52 mm is actually good it's not a zoom lens but it's good it's actually good this is the camera over here then we are going straight to the next video i did this is the capture card we used yep this is the capture card we use. It's a video capture card, HDMI video capture. You know, we need a capture card, like I always say, when I also did a video on how to bring in your sound to your, from a mixer to your VMIX, you need a sound card because, you know, the output here is to send. So the um, USB also is to send, so you need a capture card to receive. That's why we got the capture card. I think this is the cheapest capture card we can see. I think this is for 9,000 Nair. I'm going to convert it to dollars or so i think i'm going to put in the video up here i'm um, sorry the picture of it up here so you can see the capture card we used how much is it in dollars all right so that is the capture card we used okay so this is the hdmi cord we got we got a hdmi cord uh, the camera is not focusing on what is written over there yes this is it hdtv 2.0 voltage 4k it was really good because i think it's a 50 meters long HDMI cord, which was pretty okay when we're using it. All right, so we connected this to a mini connector. That will take us to our next video. This is the mini connector we use. Okay, now the Canon 5D Mark II. Um, the HDMI cord is actually a small HDMI cord, like a mini HDMI cord. I'm also going to put in the picture over here. You see it. It's a mini HDMI cord. So um, we have to get a mini HDMI cord converter because the HDMI cord we got was a big HDMI cord. So we converted it as we put in the big one to the small one. It's like when you buy an Android charger, whereas the charger you're using is a Type-C charger or an iPhone cord, that is a Type-A. So you have to con have a connector to connect from the Android charger to convert it to a Type-C. I hope you understand. All right, so this is the other end of the HDMI. So we connected it to the um, capture card. Yes, we connected the capture card. This is it here right on my camera right with the capture card over here and then we connected it to the system easy as that so once we connect to the system that is done first step done okay so the second step will take me to my next video which we did connecting um the other end of the hdmi to the mini connector this is it over here yes on the other end of the hdmi converter to the mini connector and we connected it to the camera okay so once we have done that the moment you connect to the camera and you on it, your camera is not going to see anything because it's like on extend. I don't know if you understand, but um, the camera will black out. Let me just put it that way. This particular Canon 5D Mark II, it will black out and you can see everything that's on the screen on your system when you have added input. So we're going to add input. This is there. Go to add input. Then we go to our cameras as usual. Um, this is a vid USB video. The USB video. That we uh, set everything with us of the audio so it sounds really okay because we have audio from the mixer. 
right? Then we can let the quality be 1080 quality. Yes. Yep. All right. And we're not changing the frame rate. So let's just press OK. Then we we'll see that what is on the screen is actually yeah. This time we're right. When you want the camera to first show the time to set if you have not set it. So we're going to go straight to the camera now. Yes. So if you see me switching here, it's going to be switching on the screen in your Vimex. So we switch to video mode. Then it's video mode. Well, it's actually um, it's dark. So I have to off the lens from autofocus to manual focus over here. I don't know if you see it. It's not focusing. Yes, that's it. The manual focus, I off it. So that way we can um, increase the ISO, increase the aperture and everything so that it will be more brighter. Look at it over here. We're videoing outside. So it's more brighter, just increase it a little bit. You can see there, right? Uh, I know it's having this box in a thing in the middle, but don't worry, we'll also fix that. Okay, so this is it over here. I did the lens so that it can, you know, blow, increase, increase, so it will be more brighter. You got to get that too bright, yes. All right, so I make it uh, autofocus back. Yes, I make it autofocus back. I want to just start to focus on something. Where is that shift focus? Pretty sure you know about cameras. All right. Audit and it should focus, right? All right. So that is that inside here is outside. So you no know, inside and outside are different. So we have to open the mana focus again and do everything once again. All right. So I have the mana focus. I increased it. Let me see, increasing, increasing. Yes. So it's more pressure. It's more getting clearer, getting clearer, and it's getting clearer. All right. Okay, let me just. So I, I tried. I kind of removed the cord. So I removed the um, cord so I can easily see it on my camera because I'm pretty sure it's kind of stressful for you to not be able to see it on your system. And once you remove it, once it's not connected, it will show that rainbow color bar okay so now my camera here this is it over here you have to go into the live function go to the live function settings enter still plus movie movie display then your ef make it it's gonna be in um quick mode or live mode so make it the smiley face live mode it's going to be in live mode or, or ordinarily it's gonna be in live mode so if we connect it you're going to see let me see person holding this camera was not really showing it well so my apologies okay so if you guys have to see this box over here you see the box the thing in the middle so to remove that box yes we're going to go to the live function and in that um live mode we're going to make it the live mode with the smiley face so that way it's only in the face you're going to see it so it's not going to show on any other person you get so for now you'll see that it's not showing any box on the screen it's removed automatically and if you see showing is you can just press the delete button here then to delete the um box that is in the middle of the square all right so i removed it again i want to show you something okay so um this thing over here we're gonna scroll it i don't know the name i want to scroll it so we can um want to off the auto power this is over here normally it's gonna be in like eight minutes or so so we off it so that it's not going to just be off in the screen whenever you are using the live function. Yes. Then the movie recording will calibrate in 1080 quality, any of its your preferred option. Okay, fine by that. All right. And once we've done that, okay, yes, the grid, we're off the grid because, you know, the grid is not going to be showing all these lines. You don't want a car to be showing lines on it. So once you're off grid, grid, now it's really okay, perfectly working. Right. This over here, if, you are, if your camera is showing all these, stuff let me connect the card again okay so if you're coming and showing all these um stuff over here these um things on the screen you have to just press something to remove it okay ah uh, the person holding this camera is really okay you're holding it okay so you press this over here just the more you tap it the more it removes i'm not really showing it all right yes tap that in the middle the middle button once you tap it is going to remove yes i see it on the screen this is on the screen once you tap it is going to remove on the screen is that this is it over here as i'm tapping it is bringing it back 
So if I tap it again, it removes. I hope you understand that. All right. So um, but again, let me drop the camera somewhere. Yes, I drop the camera somewhere so it will be more easier for me to do it. All right. So this is um, my VMix now. The thing I remaining now is to go to the settings. I'm going to the positions because it's not full screen. So we're just going to go to the zoom and increase the zoom a little bit. This is the way you increase the zoom. So it's going to be full screen and that black stuff at the edge won't show. So once you increase that, then boom, it's easy to go. Is that ready to use? This is the way you ready to use. And that is how you connect your Canon 5D Mark II to your vmix all right all right so thank you very much for watching if you have any further questions regarding how to connect this particular camera or any other camera please make sure to comment on my video and i'm going to appear as best as i can if i can help you i'll tell you i can but i'm pretty sure i can help you all right so that's all for how to connect your canon 5d mark II to your vmix stay tuned as i'm going to be posting more videos more videos and i'll i've opened a facebook page profile page yes I will open the Facebook profile page so uh, you can follow me also on there as you are on my YouTube channel. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget my name, Joseph Lumasuk on me, and this is extensible.